Welcome, everybody, to the Resilience Talk Network. I am Tamara K. Anderson. I'm Jay Walter. And I'm Brad Newfeld. And we're here to talk to you about and start your morning off with a positive kickstart, with a positive quote, a resilience tip, and a fun fact. Here to give us the positive quote of the day is Mr. Jay Walter. All right. Well, this uh, quote comes from Mr. Willie Nelson. Um, okay. Said, once you replace negative thoughts with positive ones, you'll start having positive results. Mm. Mm. Easier said than done. Yes, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, yeah, didn't say they'd yeah. be easy quotes to do? I just said they'd be positive quotes. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I tell you, with this world and the negativity that seems to be hitting us from every side, I tell you, it's a challenge to stay positive, isn't it? Yep. But okay. I like that quote because it says if you can replace a negative thought. So just pick one negative thought mm -hmm. and maybe change it to a positive thought. Yep. And that's doable, right? Bite-sized right. pieces. Absolutely. Well, today's uh, uh, resilience tip is beware of the crabs in your life. Now, when I say that, uh, there's all kinds of different meanings that you can take from that, but let me reel it in and talk to you about what is, uh, we feel is important for you to know at this time. There's, if you ever, and I've seen this once in real life, uh, the fishermen that catch crabs, okay, they don't, uh, they put them in buckets, okay, and they don't put lids on the top. You know why? Because they know they're never going to get out. It's, a, it's an interesting phenomenon. When you put the crabs in there, they'll drop the bucket and they'll all get smashed down there. Then all of a sudden, after they get over the shock of that, they start to crawl and, and push up and, and pinch each other and attack each other and the pile just grows. Well, eventually, one of them will get to the top of the pile there and it'll go and grab onto the top lip of the bucket to throw itself out. Well, guess what happens? All the other crabs reach up and pull him back down in. Mm. Interesting phenomenon. Well, I want to ask you this. Does this happen in your life? And I'm going to say, yes. Think about the times where you thought of a positive thing, where you said to yourself, you know what? I'm tired of living the way that I am. I want to go to college. I want to get a different job. But then what do your colleagues say? Oh, you don't want that. That's a dumb place to work. You don't want to get a college degree. That's not something you could ever use. What are they doing? they're pulling us down, okay? And again, don't get mad at your friends or family for doing this, it's a natural human tendency, all right? And I'll tell you why people do that here in just a minute. But I want you to just picture this, here's you and here's your friend or, or your, your relative or whoever it is. And every time you decide to do something outside of your comfort zone and, and uh, try to wa or want to succeed at something, expect that as you're as you're moving up the ladder here expect that resistance here okay and that's what i call it resistance and they do it unconsciously what they're doing is, is they're throwing things at you to pull you back down okay and the reason why they're doing that it's not because they're rude or jealous or anything like that they have a fear of being abandoned i have i go as far as to say all of us have abandonment issues because we need connections in life okay and so what's happening here on your journey, they're just trying to get the relationship back where it, where it was so that you won't leave them, <laughs> okay? And just, just picture that and watch what happens. It's kind of, like I say, it's an interesting phenomenon. So the next time you see that happening and you put yourself out there, expect the resistance, it's gonna happen. And next time you notice it, I want you to stop and smile and say, Brad told me this was gonna happen, okay? <laughs> but I encourage you to just persist and keep going show that resilience that we're talking about here. Because I promise you this, I've never been wrong on this in all the, the 30 years of me working with other people and literally over 3,500 families. When you achieve the thing that you're wanting to, these people over here will come back to you and they'll say, please help me to get there now. I want to be there with you. And you'll hear them say stuff like, I knew you could do it all along. I was right there with you. And you're kind of going, <laughs> yeah, right. But anyway... <laughs> Just know, know that to be true, okay? That'll give you the incentive to persist. Just stop when you're feeling that resistance, stop checking your heart again and say, all right, is this something I really want to do? And if your heart says yes, continue and you will be successful, I promise you. That's great advice. All Thanks. right, let's get to the fun fact of the day. Oh, yes. 
Today, February 24th, is National Tortilla Chip Day. In the <laughs> oh, really? States. Yes, it is. And Flour according, or corn. <laughs> yeah, it, it, uh, the corn ones. So this has an interesting history to it. And I yeah. thought this was fascinating. The, tor the triangle-shaped tortilla chip was popularized by a woman named Rebecca Webb Carasa in the 1940s as a way to make use of misshapen tortillas rejected from the automated tortilla manufacturing machine that she and her husband used at their Mexican delicatessen and tortilla factory in Southwest Los Angeles. So they were trying to figure out a way to use the reject tortillas. Mm -hmm. And so Carasa found that as she cut the discarded tortilla chips into triangles and fried them, they became a super popular snack. And she oh, sold them for a dime a bag mm -hmm. in the El Sarape Tortilla Factory. In 1994, Carasa received the Golden Tortilla Award for her contribution to the Mexican food industry. <laughs> wow, that's cool. That's Isn't that cool. fun? I yes, love that. Is. So, so in that. problem solving, she Tortilla invented day. a whole new cultural thing that we just consider every day yeah, something we eat. So. Well, I eat a lot of tortilla chips. <laughs> <laughs> tortilla chips and salsa. I have some That's today. Right. <laughs> I love it. All right. Well, let's wrap it up, guys. We hope you have a fantastic day and that you've been able to take something from our morning kickstart to improve yourself and improve your life. If you like what you hear, continue listening, subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, anywhere you can listen to podcasts and right. get Apple your music. boost. Yep. You betcha. <laughs> you betcha. All right. We'll see you tomorrow.